Here's a step-by-step -step walkthrough for installing Levitin's overhead infrastructure platform in a raised floor application. For complete installation instructions, refer to the OIP user manual. Let's review the parts and accessories you'll need for mounting and assembling a single bay of the platform on a raised floor. OIP frames, channel attachment brackets, C brackets, a frame drill template, subfloor mounting plates, and a patch panel bracket. The following components not supplied by Leviton are also required in the installation. Steel channel, nuts, bolts, and washers for mounting the base, floor anchors, threaded rods, and a grounding strap. Begin by using the OIP frame drill template to mark the location of the mounting holes on both the raised floor panels and, if floor space allows, on the concrete floor beneath. Drill holes in the raised floor panels. Then use a plumb bob to place the corresponding mark for each anchor to be placed in the concrete floor beneath. Drill holes in the concrete floor and install the anchor. Refer to the OIP user manual for specific anchor sizes and requirements. Install half-inch threaded rods through the floor panels and through the OIP subfloor mounting plate. Install nuts, locking washers, and fender washers on threaded rods for both the subfloor mounting plate and concrete floor anchors. Install threaded rods in the anchors and torque the threaded rods to the anchor manufacturer's recommended value. Place the platform uprights over the threaded rods so the open sides of the uprights are facing each other. Install the nut, locking washer, and fender washer assemblies to secure the upright foot to the threaded rod. Tighten sufficiently to ensure uprights are safely secured. The final torque will occur in a later step. Position the cross members on the top of the upright units, aligning the holes in the cross member and uprights. Add the channel attachment brackets on the appropriate sides of the cross members and uprights. Loosely secure the brackets and cross members with half inch 13 thread bolts, locking washers, and flat washers. Position steel channels on the channel attachment brackets and loosely secure to each bracket using a minimum of two sets of channel manufacturer approved mounting hardware per attachment bracket. Using the square and level, align the uprights, cross member, and channel attachment brackets to square the overhead infrastructure platform. Adjust the underfloor and above floor nut assemblies to ensure the raised floor panels are level and tighten the assemblies to assure sufficient clamping of the upright foot and subfloor plate to the floor panels. Then, torque to the manufacturer's recommended value. Finally, tighten all the cross member to upright bolts to 25 pounds of torque. The overhead infrastructure platform system is designed to accept industry compliant two hole compression connector grounding straps. Simply remove the protective tape and thread plugs, assemble and mount the grounding connectors to the manufacturer's specifications. To mount a C-channel bracket, select the preferred orientation with the opening either to the front or rear of the OIP. Position the C-bracket at the desired location on the cross member and secure using quarter inch by one and a half inch or longer bolts, locking washers and nuts. For brackets 20 inches or longer, use three connection points. Patch panel brackets can be mounted either above or below the steel channel. Leviton recommends using bolts, flat washers, and steel channel nuts in either 3 8 inch or half inch dimensions. Attach the bracket directly to the steel channel and secure it with the preferred hardware. We recommend that you perform a final commissioning inspection of all mounting hardware. At a minimum, the inspection should make sure that all fasteners are in place, all hardware is tightened to the manufacturer's recommended values, anchors are fully seated and no slippage has occurred, bonding and grounding complies with ANSI standards, and the installation complies with AHJ codes and requirements. This video shows the assembly of a single bay, but you can also join more OIP frames to support additional cabinets and prepare for future expansion in the data center. For more information, go to levitin.com slash OIP.